Hello guys, this is a video in regards of how to empty a oil catch can. Uh, this is a 2013 Hyundai Sonata Turbo. Uh, it's got 95,000 miles in it. I recently put the catch can on about, you know, 80, uh, 80, 88,000 miles right before 90. Um, and it's been working really fantastic. I was stunned to know that all that, uh, what, what, the, what this catch can really picks up you know, allowing the car to, uh, before it gets into the intake manifold, all the water and oil, sud and residues get caught in here. And I was just, uh, now I'm a big believer in the old catch can, especially for um, a GDI engine. Uh, those of you who have, you know, GDI engines, uh, typically they have, uh, I guess they have more of an issue with the um, the valves, you know, the valves getting due because the, um, the gasoline, it's gasoline direct injection, so the, the injectors are, Below the, in, the right into the uh, you know piston cylinder and walls, then it goes right into the uh, combustion chamber. It bypasses the valves, so you don't get that naturally cleaned you know valves because gasoline is a great detergent for the valves. It keeps them pretty shiny. So uh, this GDI engines don't have that system. That's one of the drawbacks of the engine, but it's a very fuel efficient and powerful engine. Very responsive. This 2.0 turbo here. There's a 274, 274 horsepower. Uh, it's great. It's got like 266 pounds feet of torque. It's a fantastic little engine, and it's uh, you know I'm a big I'm a big turbo guy. I love little engines that have you know a lot of power. You know, I think we're gonna lean more away from the V6s now and go more to turbo technology. A little uh, you know, but um, uh, maintenance is a big thing with turbos. You need synthetic oil, of course. Uh, this car is using synthetic regular oil for the beginning. You know, I didn't really know, but synthetic oil. Obviously, turbo cars uh, run a little bit more hotter. You want to keep that, you know, you want to keep the oil a little cleaner, of course. And in this case, in this case, you have, you know, the uh, residue in the oil catch can, residue coming out from the PVC system, going back into the intake. So, especially in a turbo car, a turbo GDI, um, it's essential. You get a, uh, you you can you should install a catch can. You can reduce a lot of those vapors going back into your intake manifold, keeping your valves. Uh, cleaner. You can. It almost. It doesn't eliminate it completely, but it does help reduce it by by far. I think 60, 70 percent. You can reduce all that stuff going back into the car. Um, most catch cans. I'll show you now here. I have it. It's not really properly mounted, but it just sits on the fender here, down there. But you know, I think gravity holds it down, and I haven't had a problem. You know, my wife drives this car, so you know it's on eco mode half the time. So it's you know, and um, most catch cans come with this little. Rinky dink hose. You don't want this little hose in there. Nope. You just this car that you get a nice little hose here. What I'll show you from like AutoZone for like you know a couple of dollars. It's a lot better vacuum hose. These things, these little rubber things, they just contract and it doesn't get all that set in there. It's not good. It's it creates a, the vacuum really really sucks that thing like together and it's not good. Oh yes, as you guys know, I'm sure you're probably curious about the shirt. Yes, I used to work for the Umbrella Corporation. As you guys know that. Corporations been buried in the ground, literally, from the game and from the movie. Uh, but the game is short when I left there. I was doing security there for about three years, you know, back in 2002. So, thank you for your know, thumbs up for Resident Evil. Uh, fantastic corporation to work for and to play for, which I do on PS4. All right, back to the car. So I'm gonna show you guys now what I have it properly mounted here. The old catch can. Let's go over here real quick. Let's show you guys here. So right here. There's the catch can right here. Now basically, it just took the cover off here. This is the cover of the, the car here. So the PVC system is right here. Typically you have one just one hose that goes right into the intake manifold. But this uh, the, this is the hose that you buy from AutoZone. You hook up to the catch can right here. The, in, the uh, in, inlet and this is the outlet. This is the original factory hose right here that just connects to this really and goes right back into the intake. So this, this catch can here I will show you guys now with the oil in there. See, it's, it's not the best mounting position, but wherever you hold it down, and I'm gonna have a problem with it, really. So, you know, it's been pretty, it's been working out very good so far. Now, basically, I just take this little thing out here. The cat scan's right over here. I do have a good time, a good play to work with here. You know, very easy. I'm gonna, oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness it's not that tight. You don't want to over tighten these either because they can get very, very, very tight. It's about been three. It's been about three weeks since I opened, since I emptied the last time. 
So I'm doing it right now. I haven't checked in here at all. The dipstick showed a little bit of oil in here. Let's see how much. I hope it's not really too much. Oh, wow, it is quite a bit of it. All right, wait till you see this over here, guys. I have, and always, always keep a rag handy next to you because you never know what the hell you're gonna get in here. Oh, wow, so I got, I got quite a few uh, oil in here. It's pretty, pretty disgusting. Oh my goodness. I don't know what's in that, that big there. Nice little cup. So you always have a little rag here, paper towels or a rag. Then you want to leave it down like this. Let the oil, you know, catch up with the can. You don't want to get, you don't want to get this crap in here inside the end. Now this is a, astonishing over here. This is incredible. Look at this. Look at all this crap in here. Look at this. Look at that, guys. Look at that. See that? That's only been about for about a month driving. See that? You could easily look at this crap here. Look at it. It's definitely a watery milkshake. Doesn't look like. You don't want to drink this, all right? So any all the adults watching this, they have these they have the cars here. You have all this. This, if you don't have the catch can, the rest of this stuff will go right into your intake and go right into your valves and dirty up your car. Most of this will get, probably get burned in the engine compartment, the cylinders, maybe get burned off in the exhaust. I don't know, but from what I can see, it's very, very. It's like a watery, oily substance. You don't want this crap going back into your engine. You gotta be an idiot to, uh, to think these things don't work. I wasn't really a believer until I bought one. So I'm telling you firsthand as a regular, you know, uh, regular person here, not uh, famous on YouTube or anything. I'm just, you know, showing these videos here. So this is the 2013 Sonata GDI 2.0 Turbo, uh, 2011 to 14s, same engine. Uh, you get that recall in the mail too about the engine and check out the oil, make sure no metal shrapnels are found in the engine. If you get those papers in from Hyundai, go to the dealership and get your car checked out. It will avoid warranty if you don't. These cars have a little issue with them. This car was checked out already last year, so this car is perfectly fine. She runs, runs great. Again, 95,000 miles. I bought this new back in 2015 as a leftover and catch can I had on for about three or four or three months now. And uh, I'm just uh, uh, unbelievable what, what you find in these things. It's right here. So you pretty much, you, you, you don't put that down the uh, sink or anything. You want to empty it in a properly stored uh, oil, um, oil container, which I have one here. I do all my oil changes in my garage here. Uh, so I'm, I'm not a mechanic per se. I took mechanic courses, but anybody who is not mechanically inclined can really do this. It's very simple to set up. Take about five or six minutes to hook up everything. You get the proper clamps, you know, anybody can do it. You don't need to make, take it to your shop to do it. This is something most mechanics may say, you, you don't need it, you know, it's not required to have it, you know. I mean, PVC systems are okay for certain cars. Direct injection, maybe direct injection, uh, multi-port injection is a little bit better. You will need a catch can for that kind of application. Um, for typical, your personal car that you commute a car every day. Um, depending on the engine, GDI, Essentially, from my, from my point of view now, I'm a big believer. I think it's, you know, it's, in, it's incredible that, you know, what I found in these catch cans, allowing it not to go into the engine, and you can just take it out and just dump it out. You can just discard it. So, again, you can prolong your engine life as well. Performance, you can prolong your... The big thing is you prolong your engine life. You're keeping your valves, you're keeping your valves cleaner for a longer period of time without having you to take it to a dealership and get that GDI surface into your engine. You can easily do that yourself. Save yourself 600 bucks every time you go there. Um, this is one of the drawback in engineering of these engines, you know, the GDIs. Maybe they weren't, uh, you know, I guess when they first designed them and stuff like that, you know, they designed for fuel efficiency, you know, res throttle responsiveness, it's fantastic, really. All around a great car. But you, know, you have these little drawbacks. I think this one with the, with the catch can, you can, it's 30 bucks on Amazon. I got this little catch can here. You know, it's an aluminum base. It's very good, very good. It's nice threads, very smooth. It's got a nice gasket on it. Um, now, when you do smell it, you can smell it when it builds up. You do smell it in your garage if the car's garage kept. You smell a little bit of oil. That means your catch can is getting. That's why I smelled oil today. I figured I'd do a little video and just show you guys what I, how much accumulates in the car in about a month of driving it in the winter time. So, with that said, any uh, questions, comments below? Uh, my name is Paul. Please, uh, please feel free to write any questions or comments you have on there, and I'll be happy to answer. I have hundreds and hundreds of viewers, 
hundreds of hits, so make sure you give me a thumbs up. And yeah, I'm a catch can believer. Thank you for watching my video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys. Sayonara.